Hi everyone. Welcome back to another night of geometry. So you should have something to write with and this investigation 6-4 called the family of parallelograms. You got this from class but if you lost it you can always download it from my website again. Go under video 6-4 right down the bottom. There's a file you can click and download. Okay. So there are a bunch of parallelograms, or I should say there are a bunch of quadrilaterals that fall in the family called parallelograms because they all have something in common. And the main thing in common is this. If you look at all these four shapes, they're called parallelograms because the opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides parallel like here, even here, and here, and here. Okay? That's why they're all called parallelograms. But this is the kind of like the parent parallelogram. So let's write its name right here. From that parallelogram, we have two more quadrilaterals. This is called the rhombus. It's just like the parallelogram. It's slanted over, except all the sides are equal. So I want you to put little dashes like that. Okay. Here, this is also part of the parallelogram family. This is called a rectangle. All the sides are not congruent, only opposite sides are congruent. Something unique about it is that um, it has 90 degree corners everywhere. Okay. Now, if these two, the rhombus and the rectangle were to get married, let's say, um, then they would have a child that looks like this, that would have both of these properties. All congruent sides and all congruent angles. This is called a square. Okay, right square. All four of these belong in the parallelogram family. They're all quadrilaterals. Okay, now some of them share properties with each other and some of them don't have same properties. So I'm just going to give you a few properties that um, they share with each other. For example, the parallelogram and the rhombus have some properties unique to just between them that, they, that the rectangle and square doesn't. And same thing, the parallelogram and the rectangle have some properties in common that the rhombus and the square does, and so on. So right here, I'm going to give you properties that are shared by the parallelogram and the com and the rhombus. So here, please write common properties. Okay. Here, they have slanted sides. And they both have a long and a short diagonal. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. See, in this parallelogram, if you connect the opposite corners, like from here to here, that diagonal is not the same size as this diagonal. This one's actually longer, and this one is shorter. Same thing in the rhombus. This diagonal here is longer, and this one is shorter. They're not the same size, okay? And see how the lines are, are slanted. Okay, now there's something um, unique about between the parallelogram and the rectangle. So over here, put common properties. We'll abbreviate properties. Between the parallelogram and the rectangle, there's something in common. The corners are not bisected. Here's what I mean by that. This corner here, it got cut into two parts by this diagonal. Well, these two parts aren't the same degrees. Let's, I'm going to mix them up. This is 80 degrees. This is 40 degrees. This entire corner is 120. Notice it's not bisected. If it was bisected, it would be 60 and 60. It's not. It's 40 and 80. Okay, that's for a parallelogram. Same thing here in this rectangle. 
we know the corners are 90 degrees, but they're not bisected either. It's not 45 and 45. Okay, I'm going to make some numbers up. It's 40 degrees here and 50 degrees here. I could have picked 60 and 30. I could have picked 20 and 70 and so on, as long as they're not the same degrees. That's what it means to not be bisected. Okay? And second, the diagonals are not perpendicular. What perpendicular means is they do not make a 90 degree corner. So right here where the diagonals meet, if you can see here, these two vertical angles look acute. These two vertical angles look obtuse. They're not 90 degrees. That's not perpendicular. Same thing here. Acute vertical angles, obtuse vertical angles, not perpendicular. That's what these two share in common. Okay? Then, there's something that the rhombus and the square share in common. These two. So that's right, common properties. What they have in common is the diagonals are perpendicular. That means they meet at a 90 degree corner. Like in here, they, they have 90 degrees. So I'm just going to put a box here and here and here. 90 degree corners in the center. Same thing for the square. 90 degrees in that corner, okay? In the center. And there's something else. The corners are bisected. So what that means is this. We know that the, the square has 90 degree corners everywhere, and since they're bisected, the corners have to be 45 degrees here and 45 degrees here. Bisected means got cut into two equal parts, okay? So that means the square has 45 here, 45 here, 45, 45, 45. Now for the rhombus, um, it's, not for, it's not 45 because these are not 90 degree corners, but they are still bisected. So I'm going to make up some numbers here. If this corner here was 120 degrees, then this piece would be 60 and this piece would be 60, okay? This corner here was 60 degrees, then this would be 30, and this would be 30. That's what it means to be bisecting corners. All right? Last, the property between the rectangle and the square. Common properties. Number one, the diagonals are congruent. Here's what I mean. This diagonal, the length of that, is the same size as this. It doesn't have a short diagonal and a long diagonal like the parallelogram and the rhombus. They're equal size. So that means if this was 20 inches, this is also 20 inches. And that means this piece is 10 inches, this is 10, that's 10, that's 10. They're all equal. Same thing with the square here. If this was 12 inches, then this diagonal is also 12. That means this got 6 inches, 6 inches, all right? So that's what it means to have diagonals that are congruent. And the last common property is corners are 90 degrees. That's unique to the rectangle and the square only. See 90 degree corners. These do not have 90 degree corners, all right? So take some time to kind of absorb these four special parallelograms, okay? And just kind of absorb and see what's in common and what's not, because you're going to be asked to solve for missing parts of rectangles and missing parts of rhombus. So you need to know and recognize their properties in order to do it. All right? So before you go, um, take the online quiz, and you'll get three points for these notes. I'll see you tomorrow.